All right guys, hello and welcome to another Sights and Sounds video here in beautiful Costa Rica. Today, we're back up by Rio Celeste, same area. We're gonna be doing a sloth tour. So this is the location here. I'm gonna put it on the website. There's gonna be a detailed description on how to get here. You do have to go up some, some roads to get here. Again, it's in the area of Rio Celeste. So if you're heading to Rio Celeste, this could be a stop for you. There's the name of it. Granja Ecologica Los Perisosos. And when we showed up, we had to call, we had to call the number, okay? And uh, the guide came out. So we're gonna go on a, a guided tour here, try to see some sloths. Apparently, because it's sunny out, the sloths will be more active. So if this is your first time joining us here in Sights and Sounds, be sure to like, follow, subscribe for more. Leave a comment with any requests that you have for videos here in Costa Rica that you like to see, so you know what you're getting into before you fly down here. And if you are flying down here, check out the link below for Expedia. I use Expedia for my flights. They will organize the flights by the cheapest, the least layovers, and the least layover time. So definitely check that out. And look at this here, look at the, you see the mountains all covered by clouds. It's really cool, really cool. There's more links below as well for services and products that I find useful here in Costa Rica if you're coming down. So let's go get this tour underway. Here's reception. You can see here they, they did a really nice job manicuring everything. And we're gonna get this started. All right, so we're off here. Cost for the tour is $12 US. <laughs> Tristan, our guide, he's gonna show us. Okay. He's gonna show us around here. Yeah, first of all, we are going to walk here in this beautiful garden, and after that, we are going to to the place that the, that is like a secondary forest that we have. It's the perfect place. Oh, okay. So this is the animals. garden. This is all the all the rocks and nice path. Yeah, this very is nice. The trail. Cool. So they did a really nice job here with the path. Nice little gardens, ponds. Let me try to find a frog. Okay, we're gonna to try to find a frog here. So actually some of these, these trees here were in the Rio Celeste video. I think we saw a couple of these things, the claws. So check out that video from Rio Celeste. These are, some of these are very vibrant. The ones that I think we saw were kind of like this, these orange ones here. So those are cool. I think those were identified in the last video in the comments. And then look at this one here. It's very red. It's really cool. So I think Tristan there is looking for a poisonous frog to check out. Oh, okay, I got it. he got it. He got it. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my God, here he goes. Oh, he's tiny. Yeah, he's it's tiny. tiny, but you know that red oh, wow. in nature means danger? Yeah, red in nature means danger. That's, That's correct. One, the nickname of that one is like a blue jeans dark frog. Blue jeans, you know that they have blue pants. Oh, okay. Blue jeans. There he goes. Oh, okay. I have video. He doesn't want to be on camera. There he is. That's one of the poisonous So that's poisonous. So if you see the red in nature, it's danger. Exactly. <laughs> it's the same with the color yeah. snake. Do you know color yeah. snake? Yeah. Yeah. All the animals, even some butterflies in red color, they are tough. Oh wow. Uh, Tristan, what are these plants over here? Okay, come on. Yeah, we saw these earlier. Yeah. Uh, just for the people here in, in Spanish it's called maracas. You know maracas? Maraca, yeah, yeah. Maracas. And what are they? Are they uh, edible or anything? No, not exactly, but they are important, especially for the native people or aboriginal people here. Yeah. Because you know that they have a lot of water. Even you can make something like that, or even you can squish it. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, it's water, one. yeah, yeah. yeah. They okay. can produce that water, right? The flower can produce the water. Oh, okay. So we can use that water like a repellent for bugs. 
Yeah. Oh, it's a bug repellent. You make, you I heard make... you can use it for your hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. also it's called like a the shampoo flowers. Yeah. Because, yeah. Cool. So the water's in the water is not only being captured by the rain, but the oh, plant yeah. makes it. They can produce it. Oh, water. cool. It's cool. like our oil that they produce. Oh, okay. And it's a bug repellent. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, That's plan. Thank you. Family of gingers. Gingers family. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we have some domestic animal here. Oh, okay. Most of the time we we are going we go on the other trail. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes, ki ki especially kids, they love the rabbits. Yeah, and yeah. Like that. so the rabbits. Look at the rabbit, Troy. Yeah. Oh, there's a little rabbit right there. Yeah, and rabbit is another beautiful animal that we have. So this is part of the farm. It's part of the farm. Cool. Oh. Oh, there's a little, uh, what's this one? Is that a guinea pig? Or? It's a guinea pig. Yeah, yeah. Hey, check out the guinea pig. So there's some big, big winged beasts. Oh, look at that one. The turkeys in there. Oh, there's our buddy's back. Our new tour guide. <laughs> okay. Okay, see you later. See you later. Oh, here's another duck. Oh, that's a cool, that's a very cool patterned duck. Forgive me if I'm uh, misnaming anything here. There's some more supposed ducks. Oh, this this duck has a mohawk. So that's maybe the coolest thing I've ever seen. Mohawk duck. And this duck has a really cool print on him. What do they call that? Uh, livery. So and then all of these, Tristan just explained, uh, they're called halisonias, and they're red so they can attract hummingbirds to pollinate them. Exactly. You can hear the hummingbirds. That sound? Yeah, you can hear the hummingbirds, and if you're quick, you can see one flying around the halisonias here. And I, these, the red part is a leaf, and then inside the leaf is the actual flower. So the red attracts the hummingbirds to pollinate the flower. Oh. oh, hummingbird right here. <laughs> he flew away. Oh, he flew away. Really, too, really too slow, fast. too slow, yeah. Right, so there's a dove right in there. I'll try to zoom in. See him or her. The nest. It's white. White dove. Just hanging out in there. It's a good thing. Definitely get a tour. I mean, if you're doing a tour like one of this, having a tour guide is definitely worth it because they got an eye for everything. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's cool. What's it called? Angel's trumpet. Angel's trumpet. But in Spanish, it's called like a reina de la noche. That means like a queen of the night. Queen reina of de la noche. Why do you open them the night? At night, they have oh. a, a nice fragrance. Wait, they it's have a night fragrance. Angel yeah. trumpet? Yeah. But this one is a strong rock for people. You know, some people they can take the flowers and they can make like a, they can boil, mm -hmm. like make like a tea, mm -hmm. and they can drink it for get, for getting high. Oh know? yeah, okay, okay. Like a, it's really strong, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's stronger than marijuana or something. <laughs> it's something crazy. So if you boil that down, you can go, go on a little trip in your mind. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nice. Sometimes, oh, and right now we have oh, some wow. eggs. Oh, what is that? Frog eggs. Frog eggs. Frog eggs. Oh my god, wow. That is cool. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Frog eggs. Frog eggs. You know, you know that they are really smart? This is the tree frog. Maybe we can find Tree frogs. Oh. It's really, really hard to find. But look, look. Come on. Wow, amazing, right? The frog is here. Oh, the frog is wow. up there. Look at the camouflage of that one, right? It's hiding here. Oh, wow. Oh, this is that's a frog? Yeah. Frog? That's yeah. A frog. Okay. Wow. okay. That's the frog right there. Hey, I can't wow. get it. The green one? The green one, the green yeah. Is it sleeping? It's sleeping now oh, because yeah. it's nocturnal, you know? Yeah, yeah. This it's one is the male. 
Okay, so that's a male. A frog. At night, it's a frog they sleeping. are making a lot of noises, so it's, yeah. it's easier to find them at night. Yeah. You can see the eggs here, they yeah. lay the eggs here, exactly in this leaf, because they are falling into the water. Oh, they so, the, so the, the, the tree frog plants the eggs on that leaf so that the tadpoles fall into the water. Oh, there it is. Try oh, that one is really oh, beautiful. Huh? Yeah. There now. Oh. And come back to sleep really quick. <laughs> you got it? So the nice. red-eyed tree frog. Red-eyed tree red frog. And the, all the colors that they have yeah. is amazing, right? Beautiful. Oh, you have the opportunity to find a sloth. The wife wants to see a sloth. She's, I want to see a sloth. The boy wants to see a sloth, too. Who doesn't want to see a sloth? You got it. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> wow. That is it. The tree top of sloth. Wow. Amazing. I got a clear picture of face. He's so slow. Oh my god. Oh yeah. So cute. He's hanging. He's hanging in there. This is the best day of my life. Wow. <laughs> Did you say hi to him, Toys? Huh? Yeah. Did you say hi? tour continues so Tristan just explained to us that sloths don't actually have muscles they just have tendons because they only eat leaves they, uh, that's why they move very slow but they have a lockout kind of like tendon in their wrists that allow them to just hang in the tree for a while without spending energy yeah yeah I can see him yeah but so there's a tr another tree frog camouflaging in with the leaves, just hanging like a leaf almost. What would eat the what would eat the tree frogs? They eat especially crickets. Crickets? They eat the, what would eat the what would eat a, a frog? Ah, the snakes. Snakes would especially eat them. Snakes. Yeah, yeah. Even then we have some frog eaters. The oh, snakes. frog eater eat. snakes. And you can see a lot of oh, the eggs. Of eggs. Oh yeah, there's yeah. A, there's the eggs. Oh, so they would just fall into the water for the tadpoles. And here, but they are termites. So those are all termites. Wait, will termites kill bull wow. ants? No. And then there's bullet ants roaming around as well. Termites will kill your house. Kill your house. Go try get it from his feet here. Yeah. <laughs> I've never eaten a bug. Go. I didn't taste anything. It's part of the nature. It tastes like a wood. Or so we just recharged on eating some termites. It tastes like wood. And the walk continues through this really cool forest area. Oh, what is it? Uh, wasp. Wasp. Oh, a wasp's nest. Paper wasp. Paper wasp. Right there, I'll zoom in on that. Don't shake that leaf. Yeah, don't shake it. <laughs> so the stripe on the back is for males. I wish I could climb a tree or taller. I wish I could be tall so I can just touch it. It is so slow. <laughs> 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 Look at the tree frog. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Is this fishy, Troy? Yeah. Cool, so there we have it. Thank you, Tristan. Appreciate it. Very good tour. <laughs> Here's the nice little reception area. Perry Soso Eco Tour, the lazy tour where you find Sloss. So right here under the mountains of Rio Celeste. Definitely a great value if you're coming out here. The kids were uh, $5, adults $12, and always bring money for a tip for your guide. Be sure to check out sightsandsounds.co for a full written description of everything we talked about in this video. Check out the links below. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, leave a comment with anything you thought stood out in this video or any questions you have or requests. Thanks for watching. Bye now.